In this video we're going to be creating a Drupal simple form programmatically. We're going to create the form, we're going to make a simple interaction with it by submitting it and we're going to create a rule to show our form. Here we have a Drupal instance. We'll jump to its code base and we'll create the structure of our module under modules custom. The next thing we want to do is we want to create the actual class that will host our form. So in order to do that, we're going to create a new folder called src and further in it, we're going to create a folder called form. In the form folder, we're going to create our class, which would be a PHP file with the name of our class. So it's called simpleform.php and in it we basically have to create the class called simpleform which is the name of our uh, file and we're going to be extending extends extends sorry uh, the the form base class so what we have to declare first is the uh, namespace for our class which is uh, which starts with Drupal then the name of our module and then form and we have to use uh, we have to include the form base class with the use uh, we'd have to check under api.drupal.org the exact namespace of the form base uh, I'm pretty sure it's something like Drupal core form form base <coughs> sorry Drupal core form form base exactly so we're going to include it here core uh, then form form base that's perfect we're going to add a simple comment for the name uh, for our class our simple form class and the first of the modules that we would have to override from the form base class is the public function uh, get form ID uh, which basically returns the form ID of our form which is something that uh, is random we can basically say drupal up simple form that's perfect it's perfect uh, the second uh, function that would have to uh, declare is the public function uh, build form build form uh, which has uh, as arguments the form which we are going to be building and the form state interface uh, which is basically an instance of form state 
interface let's go ahead and check again on drupal.org for the exact namespace of the form state interface it's basically uh, drupal core form it's almost the same so we are including it here that's perfect and basically in the build form we're declaring our form so we would be creating a form with two text fields and a submit button so let's go ahead and create two text fields uh, we are going to be creating a text field called number one uh, which is of type text field and uh, which has a title number one uh, first number let's call it and we're going to be creating a second field almost identical to the first one which is number two second number and we need a uh, submit uh, which is of type submit and which has a value uh, let's call it calculate that's perfect and we we're supposed to be returning the form in the end return form very good and the the second uh, function that we are supposed to be declaring uh, is the is basically the, the third but uh, it is the uh, submit form so we call it public function submit form and in the submit form we're basically having the same arguments here but the form is supposed to be passed by reference and here uh, we could do something really simple like we can use the drupal set message and uh, we could simply calculate the two numbers we can say form state get value uh, now the uh, the name of the first field plus uh, form state uh, get value the name of the second field and Drupal set message would simply uh, add a message at the top of the uh, Drupal web page in the message region so let's go ahead and create uh, quickly a router for this form and let's see if it works
Perfect, so let's go ahead and activate the newly created module in our Drupal instance. So go under extend and to we'll search for Drupal up. Simple custom form, that's perfect. We're going to be installing it. Yes, it looks fine. And the next thing will go to our uh, root path simple form oh it looks good so there we go we see the first field here and the second field here and if we type 12 plus 13 we should go we should get 25 yes we get 25 here uh, at the top of our drupal instance so there we go we have a super simple custom Drupal 8 programmatically created form thanks for watching if you like this video please check the links in the description subscribe and ask if you have any questions uh, the code base of this module uh, I will post in the github of the of Drupal app thanks for watching